I go again. It is my last hunting trip this year. It's December, not December. Wow. It's uh, October 28th. That's what it is. Today, this evening, and tomorrow morning, I've got a chance to shoot a deer for the last time, and I need to take advantage of that. Anyway, um, Devin just sent me a text a few minutes ago to tell me, may the force be with you, and I need it. So far all I've seen is a, a doe, and that's it. Nothing else. Nothing. I've gone about two miles. I'm gonna circle all this. Hit that top behind that tree. Head down. And circle back around where I saw the doe. So far there's there's a couple tracks, but that is it. Well, here I am. Came up a couple miles. This is what me and Devin call the bull. And uh, we've shot a lot of deer from here on up in this canyon. Shot some up there. Roll all these fingers right up along over the bull. Shot a lot of deer. But tonight I see nothing. Still just the one doe and nothing else. Um, kind of stinks. I'm gonna hike back down this way. I hike down this ridge and over and back up to the pickup. It's uh, 5.45, so I got about an hour and 15 minutes left. The only deer I've seen was clear down um, close to the pickup. I mean, it was half a mile in or whatever. Maybe a little more. But I'm going to try to get back down in that area with some daylight left. And maybe some more came down those fingers. <sighs> kind of stinks. It's got a real light snow starting to come down on me. Other than that, it's pretty darn peaceful up here. Hasn't been, I mean, nothing moving, but, but I don't see anything. I'm gonna do a little bit more glassing, but oh, there goes a deer right there. Hold on. I guess I should have left the camera on. <laughs> um, it's just to the left of those brush over there, but I gotta book it to get to that thing. Cause it's steep up that side. I wish it would have rolled a lot further. But it's down. Um we get over to it. It wasn't a very big buck, I don't think, but it was a buck. <sighs> Haven't found it yet. But uh whew. I don't know how that thing didn't keep rolling. It's so steep up here. It's got to be right up here somewhere though. I'm almost there. Right. It's laying right here. All right. You good, bud? Make sure it's dead first, which I'm about 100% sure. But yeah, laying right there in that bush. Nice little buck. Alrighty, work to do. Yeah, he's done for. Um, glorified little forky horn. Yeah, this tree, if this bush, not tree, this brush wouldn't have stopped him. I think he would have gone all the way to the bottom, which would have saved me a lot of work. I was sitting right over there, just under that tree. So, uh, yeah, like I say, pack out's gonna be through that, but I got an hour till it gets dark. And in that hour, I got some work to do. 
All right, it's pretty much completely dark. Um, I can still see a little bit. It's gonna be dark in this video, but I got it all deboned, and I've came a couple hundred yards down that hill, and uh, hopefully I can get to the trail down at the bottom before I got to turn my headlight on. Anyway, get your man card, I guess. Um, it's gonna be a fun hike out. All right, this is kind of just in the dark video, but you can't even see. Quick, straight down. Stinky little trail is what I get to walk on. Um, I made it back to the bottom. This trail avoids crossing the creek. I've already crossed it a couple times and had to wait a little bit deeper right now. I usually look how narrow that is. Whew, my legs are wobbly. Um, yeah, slide straight down. It's like 100 yards down there to, well, 50, 60, whatever. I don't know, but I'm tired. I'll tell you that much. And uh, I still got a mile left, at least. At least 50 minutes of walking. And it is um, 7.30, so it's been dark for about half an hour. And still uh, one uphill to go that's really darn steep. Had to stop and readjust my pack, get it riding better and now it's just walking out with wobbly tired legs alrighty I'm uh, really tired I'm on the hill climbing out and uh, whew, I just got a little bit left to get to the top. Well, I'm about halfway, but it's the easier half. I've already gone through the steep half. And so, we're just climbing, climbing, climbing for about another 10 minutes, and it's all downhill from there. Well, my battery's almost dead on this camera. I don't know why, but but I'm back to the pickup. Here's the back of the pickup with the pack in it right here. Um, and all the meat inside, we're gonna take it out and we're done. Thanks for coming. All right, it's late at night and I'm working night shift now, so I'm finished up processing the meat. Here's the ground meat, I'm still working on this pan and this pan. And uh, these other two pans are gonna be jerky. There's the ground meat. Got some other stuff, but there it is. All right, so here's the final results of that buck. We got his horns right here and right there, kind of kick out. Um, he's just a little three point. Uh, when we were remodeling the house, we put a double sink in, but this sink, we just put some plaster in and we put some elk burrs. We tried to do uh, real life plants, but most of them died. So we had to put a bunch of fake ones in when we were doing it. Anyway, that's where that buck ended up. Thanks for watching.